Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 13 and 14 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 and 3, 2, 1, go. Getting a new open in two. Or is this just, well, of course, duh, it's a recap in the first couple of minutes, but. I still hate the fuck that that girl took her. Ah! <laughs> I'll say this. I, I like this song. It's going to take a minute for me to, you know, really get into it and such. Because I like opening one song. It's very, that song was very upbeat and catchy. Like, I could listen to that in anything. This gives me, feels to almost like a Soft of Life song. Which, I'm not mad at it. Slice of Life songs um, for animes are not that bad. They're really good. Because I have my personal faves. No. But not at the price for Shadowdy. Of course. Because he cares about you. Because he protects you. I honestly don't know what you can do later on. The only thing I maybe would say is we storm down the bridges and we take the man back. Go with him. Yeah. 
Seriously, go with him. This is the only way we're getting him back. I mean, of course, duh. Mm -hmm. She has no other choice, though. We got to get Shadow back. Of course. <laughs> yeah, he'd definitely say that, but... Yeah. <laughs> Duh. You sure though i mean i still get it if you want to do it all on your own Howdy. <laughs> Dog, what are you doing? Of course. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, but she wants him to be. <laughs> Beautiful. You pretty. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, and don't call her a what? She's a she. She has a name. I mean, yeah, very skilled, cute, but definitely an ass a little bit. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so Because she's different from the others and she has talent, clearly. We all know that. Because you're not his daughter. Right? Isn't that a little too much on her? Of course we all do. Okay. Girl, will you hush? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. 
I mean, I still feel for her, though. But, I mean, there are times, and we've seen it in the last couple episodes, where she's being really selfish. And it's just like, girl... I do also feel bad that, you know, yeah, she wanted to be, you know, a sugar artisan, but because her father said no. Something tells me Bridget is going to try to do everything in her power to make An's life here a living hell. She's going to try everything to just make her either quit, get fired, or something. But at the same time, it's on, it's a one-sided love, just as you said. You think her being here will change her mind? And bring hope to your relationship? I mean, hey, just because it's small doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with it. It's just as good as any other. That's fine. So really, once again, pretty much everything is on Ann's shoulders. Oh my God. Poor baby. <laughs> but she got this. She, in a way, she has that positive Toru light that no matter what comes her way, she can just always smile happy, happily. Oh. Shut it up. You can't be around her.
to get you back. Oh, <laughs> right, because you're a family. Mm -mm. With the music playing like this, it feels like she's going to confess, and I, I can't. This song also feels like a Clara song, which, I mean, good. <laughs> huh? <laughs> as a man, once again, as a man. Oh. <laughs> God. I don't know what to say right now. I, I'm I'm like flabbergasted right now. Him it, it's something about a guy or just uh, not even a guy. I can't because well and most guys can do it too. Let, let's change that. It's something about a man. A fucking man that literally, when he says, oh, wait, it, it's something about that. It's like, oh, my God, like a jittery freaking. <sighs> I read too many romance novels and shit that are just romance animes in general and just romance TV shows or whatever. But like, oh, my God, I can't. Like, ah, weak <laughs> in the knees. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. But he had just the way he said that to her. I mean, I've already folded for this man like several times. He just made it worse. Even worse. I mean, one, he, he's not even supposed to be interacting with her, let alone looking at her. And he waits until Bridget is sleeping. Like, something kind of told me, like, once he came in, and they started talking. I was like, my, immediately I'm thinking like, oh, yay, like they're together again. But at the same time, I'm like, where the fuck is Bridget? Like, she is watching this. She is watching his every move. She sees them together. And obviously she's going to get jealous about that. But the fact is she's not here and they're having this moment. Yes, it makes me happy. But at the same time, I'm, I am worried for when she does find out about this ish. Now, her fiance could snitch on him and be like, oh, hey, they talked secretly and such and then she'll be like ridiculously pissed i still think it's dumb that she wants to make sure to do into a quote unquote pet without kind of saying that he would be a pet even though shadow also himself said oh you want to treat me like a pet which is mm, don't do that he's still you know a, a person with feelings even though he's a fairy and in this series, fairies are like second to humans. And, and it's just super fucked up. Now, 
going into Bridget once again with her situation with her dad and the fact that her dad is like when she was younger she wanted to be a circle audition but because her dad was really against it and he's okay with accepting on with it I think it's because of the fact is on has proven that as a woman she can do things just as much as a boy can or a man can so she really once again it's almost like how with some celebrities or actors and actresses specifically actresses who do certain roles that okay for example comic book roles i cannot believe i'm about to talk about this okay so let's go back to 2013 i believe or when 2013 maybe 2015 or something so there, there's two examples with this when Zendaya got cast as MJ for the Spider-Man series and then when Candace um Patton got cast as um Iris in the Flash series and how both of them got so much backlash and then any other person um who also person of color who also played a role of someone who was mm, but now is this so I can think of homegirl who plays Josie in Riverdale and such a lot of people got backlash from that and so there were some people who you know heavily defended them on why they were got chosen they got picked this is that third because sometimes it's just talent and not only talent it's chemistry on what the actor is feeling with the actress vice versa whatever and that's what it kind of feels like this because on is someone who is very like number one knows her shit knows her craft and such she's paving for the way for other women to also want to be sugar artisans we've talked about that before so that's why i'm also hoping that by the end of this series we do see a lot of more women in this show eventually be like well this girl could do it why can't i do it and so maybe bridget might get a second chance with that we're only really at the halfway point on the second half of this series so i'm secretly hoping that for her because the fact is i feel like there is maybe more for bridget that we don't really know of but because the fact is she's being treated as a more of an object in a way and saying that oh no okay just be you're a woman you can't do this you can't do things that a man can do and such which is really messed up because i mean us as women we can do a lot of things just as much as men and i once again i think Anna is definitely going to prove people wrong so we just gotta continuously wait and see but hopefully bridget don't find out about the secret reading these two had i'm just hoping it. I'm, I'm hoping Girl, don't find out. Sit your behind to the side. That's all I'm going to say. But go ahead and pause the video. And I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. Alrighty, episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go. He almost made me choke. Hmm. Water just tastes so much better at two in the morning.
<laughs> okay, that's all we need to know. Yeah, it's like an acknowledgement. You okay with that? Well, this definitely will be a challenge, but she's got this. Ah, so the, he's a horse boy. Well, yeah, I mean, it's almost like having a relationship with the person and, you know, conveying their feelings into, you know, the artwork, project, whatever. It's like the same thing, you know, that a tattoo artist does with their customer. <laughs> hmm? Or, you know, make your own freely project or something. them yes yeah so it's almost like a manager job
Yeah, I mean, it seems like there should be some changes because, I mean, everyone should really work together on their, <coughs> excuse me, projects, whether it's a solo project or it's something together. Oh, like a big behind syllabus. Girl, what you going to do if aunt, if aunt takes him? Seriously, that horse is beautiful. Same thing with Corona. No, you can't be here. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't want to make her angry. <clears throat> you sure?
course she's gonna go grab the wing. We can't let her harm you! Oh. Yeah. So you can't do any harm towards him. Yeah, so you can walk around freely. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that means he's still around here. Maybe he comes in this episode as well, but if not, we're going to see him eventually in the next few weeks. <laughs> and besides, Shadow is her boyfriend. But you didn't.
That's why there's only five here. Already? Mm hmm. Hmm. I think it's the selection that gave her the idea. And more people will come to the school. But why not? I mean, it, it it would be perfect. There would be so many people coming back here into this workshop to have a, a, a chance to work there. And then plus, we're paying the money back on the debt. That's a win-win. So why is Glenn so hard on this and saying no? Unless there's some, there, of course, there's some history because, you know, the guys be fighting and this like that. So hopefully with episode 15 and 16, we do get context on that next week. But, okay. <sighs> Going back to Bridget again. The fact that her dad hassled her and being like, you just want to shut it all to yourself and that someone found her little secret hideout where the wing was, took the wing, gave it back to the dad, and, and being like, no, I'm taking over, you you can't have this, and literally or ordering Shadowdew to not, to barely interact with her. And yes, it is true, she became massively obsessed with him. To the point that in the scene that they had before the morning where, you know, he went to go see um, An, he, she was making him carry her to her bed, laying by his side, by her side, petting her hair, staying with her the whole entire night, and like begging him not to go see on. And, and that's a little obsessive. That like that reminds you of like okay, <laughs> you know those random um, couple TikToks or yeah, especially a TikTok where like. Um, let's say a girl it has like a better really closest relationship with this guy and this other girl comes in and she confronts the girl and talks and says like oh you're talking to my boyfriend away too much da, 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 da. and then in the end they find out that that girl why he's why she's close to the boy is because they're related and then next thing you know the girl is like well you know what let me go tell my brother that you know hey you ain't a good fit for him and then they get upset about it not it that's what that feels like with the relationship or the whole entirety of Bridget as a character. She's obsessive and she gets really upset with certain things because she's not getting things that are her way. She also reminds me a little bit of Angelica from Rugrats where it not like 100% but to a T there are moments she lashes out she wants everything her way but she can't get everything her way it, it doesn't even matter if yes you are the daughter of someone and such who was highest in society and everything 
it's different now. We're in a different time and everything. And your dad is treating you like crap, but, you know, that's because you lash out. So he has a reason to do that. But I, I think, once again, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Even though I feel iffy towards her, I think there's going to be a point where she does change for the better. So hopefully we do get to see that in the next couple of weeks. And especially with the context of this ending, hopefully An has a better way of coaxing Glenn to saying yes for her to go into this competition because that would really solve everything but he's being very hard-headed and you know you just want to know why like truly why he's doing this but other than that guys that is my reaction view tours episodes 13 and 14 of sugar apple fairy tale if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every day when i join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episodes 15 and 16 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye